All right, this is gonna be my first take of this video, and hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully everything goes well this time. Um, I tried to do this for um, <clears throat> for freaking uh, Persona Five, and that failed spectacularly. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing what I what I consider to be a lore through of Bloodborne, which is basically I play through the game and I discuss the lore. I uh, will be talking about every piece of item, every piece of equipment, weapons, uh, items that I find, and inspecting them and talk, talking about and discussing the lore of the game. I know a lot of people have probably done this before, but um, you know, I figured, you know, why not do, why not do it myself? Because you know, you never know. Someone could have new information, or I could have new information. You never know. So, yeah. Let me just adjust a few things here. We're gonna sound effects to me. Let's restore the defaults here. Hopefully it's not too loud. Holy crap. Yeah, let me let me lower that a bit. Cause I have a <clears throat> I I have a blue snowball microphone and that's gonna pick up everything, so yeah, let's not. <laughs> See sensitivity, auto adjust. I'd rather not do auto anything. Environment, brightness, so I can see perfectly. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I might I might do a few co-op things here and there, and if I see your name and if you have a account, well, you know, I will uh I will give you guys a shout out. So yeah, let's do a new game. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and edit out as many deaths as I can, but you know, death is a major mechanic. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. Have I? Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. Oh, that's good. You need only unravel its mystery. Why the hell am I even here? But you're not gonna tell me, are you? Like yourself to begin. Well, hopefully we begin somewhere. Easy with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. Wait, what are you talking about? But first. You need a contract. Dude, what happened to your eyes? And how do you even know I'm here? I'm not even saying anything. Unless you can hear me right now. Ooh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, let me see what kind of name I want to give you. Um. Hmm. Let me see. Who. What kind of name shall I give you? Hmm. No. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'll keep a male for now. Just why not? Let's make him mature. What is my origin story? Hmm. Let me see. Uh, violent past. Professional military veteran. Um, I'm trying to remember which one I had the last time, but. Hmm. Wow, Cruel Fate has a. Insanely high. Uh, you know what? I'll do military veteran for now because a lot of the weapons I use involve strength and skill. And. me load up one of my favorites. There we go. I love it. it looks so t it looks kind of sunburnt though. All right, let's let's just finalize this contract and continue forward. Beast blood pellet, large medicinal pellet supposedly formed of coagulated beast blood, abandoned by the healing church to their unclear origin. Grants a spurt of beasthood. And ah, uh, I'll be reading those as I pick them up. So yeah. I'll be reading those more. If you guys want to pause, you know, you can read and discuss whatnot. But for right now, let's just do things as, you know, they're happening now. <sighs> Crap. Good. Doing this at like. All signed and sealed. 4.45 in the morning, right now. now mm. Let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Don't I worry? What? Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad may think it? What are you talking about? Uh, I, um, a, a, um, what, what do you, what do you do? This, 
the blood transfusions don't make it to the... Uh, <laughs> I slept all day yesterday for whatever reason. I think I need to get my medicine adjusted because, oh my god. That was awful and I don't want that to happen ever again. Uh, did he just leave me here by my... Self. Hi, Wolfie. That is a... You are covered in a lot of blood. And I don't think that's any of that is yours. Please, no! No! Whoa, hey, what? And what set you on fire? I'm more afraid of that thing. The thing that set you on fire. It's still a lot of blood. Uh, uh, what is this? What are you? Little thing? <sighs> Do not come any close. Oh, God. You have a vagina face. That's just not okay. No, no, no. Get away. No. No. <sighs> Trying not to be so loud. <laughs> you found yourself a hunter. Who is the lady? And, oh, there's ghosts here, and I'm not the only one. Wow. People still play this game. Holy crap. And what is this? View notes? Despicable clinic. Woeful woman. Therefore, treat blobby thing with care. Um, okay. Whatever that means. What do we got here? Handwritten scrawl. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Is that why? Huh. Maybe I was kidnapped or something. Or maybe that was me. All right, so let's go over the inventory, see what we have in here for the uh, for some lore stuff. Hood worn upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. Perhaps it's where I had to stay out of sight and travel by cover of darkness. Without memory, who will ever know? Hmm. Okay, and the foreign garb says, not typical clothing for Yarnum. Perhaps it is of foreign origin. It is said, after all, that the traveler comes that tra... It is said after all, the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Ah! I, wanted to, I didn't want to do that. Let's see, a faint memory recalls blood administration involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Terribly worn and unsanitary, yes. I would not want to wear that. And it's the same thing as the... Okay, cool. Alright, so, the only thing we know of for sure is that we don't... We don't have a memory of where we came from, and that we are a very obvious foreigner. And what is this? Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes, but awakens afresh, as if it were all just a bad dream. What else do we have? Anything else? Nope, that is it. So onward we go. Beware of liar, therefore don't be fooled. Um, I'm no liar. Or maybe they were talking about the guy that, you know, might have kidnapped us. And some tutorial stuff. I'm not gonna read those too much. I mean, if you know any blood souls, if you know anything about blood souls, you know. Run! I kinda don't wanna run, but okay. I wanna beat this thing's ass. Uh ow! Okay, yes, the mechanic works. Huh? Okay. Ow. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, it doesn't work that well, but... Oh, hey, I got him in a corner. Ha ha. Maybe this is a method of cheesing. Ow. Okay, I think I, I, think I can get him. I think I can get him. Just remember to dodge. There we go. I think I can kill him rather easily. Maybe. Or not. Give me my health back, you coward. I'm doing okay so far. Ow. Wait, give me my health back. Whatever little I have left. What little health I have left. One more, one more swipe, and he's gonna kill me. I just know it. 
Back up, back up, back up. If he lunges at me. Ah, oh, come on. That was so close. Ah, well, I died. It happens. But you know what? It's actually not a bad thing. Ooh, you get a shield in this game. That is absolutely worthless. Seriously, don't don't use it. I, I, I've actually tried to main with the shield. It, it doesn't work very well. <sighs> oh my gosh. That took me all of five minutes. I'm impressed. Ah. <sighs> Hmm, where am I? And what is this church cathedral thing? Some sort of building. Inspect an abandoned doll. And if you look closely, you can see her finger kind of tapping. If it'll show up. Nah, not right now, probably. Probably a little later. Alright, so we have the option of either the saw cleaver, the hunter's axe, or the threaded cane. Me, I'm gonna go with... The saw cleaver. For now. It's a good weapon. Alright, let's uh, look at it. One of the trick weapons in the, of the workshops commonly used in the hunting business. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of centrifugal force. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt, and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. What that means in gameplay terms is that it deals extra damage to beast-like figures, uh, but for now it's just a really effective weapon. So yeah, there we go. Messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. I am going to choose the pistol. So. Let us equip the pistol and look at it. <clears throat> pistol made at the workshop for hunter stalking beasts. Hunter firearms are specially crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The pistol is a quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for speedier responses to attacks. That's the reason I wanted it in the first place. And we also have a gift. A notebook! Which we are gonna look at. I'm not, I never really equipped this thing. Messengers are inhabitants of the dream who revere the bl brave hunters. Use them to send messages to other worlds. This is basically, you know, leaving messages like in Dark Souls for other characters. Leave notes with messengers, read the notes left to messengers in other worlds, and rate notes to each out to hunters across planes of existence. Only for online use. So, no, this is close. Fun. Alright, so we don't really have anything to do. So let's awaken back in the dream. <laughs> Blade of Mercy. Alright. So yeah, um if I if I have the opportunity to read it in the inventory, I will. Um if not, you guys can just read the random stuff that appears in the loading screens. Which I mean is not too terrible, it's just I love. I like, I like the fact that they added that because those loading screens were boring and took forever originally. Like, you have no idea, it was bad. You get to die much quicker than before. And now I got my souls back. Or my blood echoes is what they're called. Yay! So I got that, got some blood vials. Let's actually read what the blood vials actually say. If they say anything, they don't. Ah, well, blood vials are health, quicksilver bullets are, you know, bullets for your gun, so, yeah. Let's open this door. Actually, before we go, let's actually backtrack a little bit. I know this place fairly well. And there's the hunter lamp. It returns you to the hunter's dream. Fairly simple stuff. I don't know how they got up there, but, eh, I'm not gonna try it now. You were a liar. Are you? Then I'm very sorry. Oops. But I cannot open this door. Let me in, lady! I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. What kind of infection? What are you talking I about? I know that you hunt for us. 
for our town, but I'm sorry. Oh, you can kind of see her in the little Please. hole there. This is all that I can do. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see who that is. Oh, thank now, you. Go and good hunting. Oh, well, thanks. She just gave us an item. Let's read it. This refined blood. Blood vial acquired from Yosefka's Yosef clinic. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restored a larger amount of HP than the blood than the regular blood vials. The product of a slow and careful refinement process. The rare blood vial appears to be a clinic original, and it looks more like plasma than blood. So I'm not even gonna go there. It looks nothing close to blood. Why is it yellow? Like I said, it looks more like blood plasma than you know, full-on blood. <clears throat> All right, so we open the door to this area. May the good blood guide your way. Let us cleanse these foul streets. I like this note, so yes. Whoever's reading that, you have my gift of slight amount of health. Fear Yarnum. <laughs> oh, you have no idea, buddy. More quick silver bullets, and now we have the maximum amount of 20. Even though you can kind of increase it later on, but we're gonna just let that happen. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna get too deep into what you can gain down the road until it happens. Hidden path awaits ahead that we can't open until way later in the game. Like, I'm, like seriously, guys, that you can only happen, you can only open that thing like super late in the game. Uh, more blood vials, excellent. All right, let us continue forward. Oh shit! Ah. Ah. You. Ah. Yeah, basically if you press uh, L1, you can switch the weapon, you can switch how the weapon works. Whatever you can't hold, it gets sent to a sort of inventory later on. It's into an inventory in the workshop. Boom. You died. You die. Put back here. Molotov cocktails. Ooh. New item. Like I said, every new item, I'm gonna read it. If you don't like that, well, tough, this is mine. This is my game. <laughs> Explodes in raging flames when thrown against an object, one of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck Old Yarnum, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. Yes, and you can use that to your advantage. Uh, none of you dropped anything? No? Fucking cheap asses. Alright, let's... Operate this device. Lever is effective. Yes. Very effective. <laughs> All right, let's ascend the ladder. And you can climb up slightly faster because this is Bloodborne, not Dark Souls. Mommy! Seriously, what was that? Anyways, let's get up here. Light the lamp. This lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Because it was the last one that you used. Oh, you must be a hunter. Yep. And not one from around here either. Yeah, I'm a foreigner. What of it? A fellow outsider. Oh, okay. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Yeah, what about those guys well, with the I axes? I could stand if I wanted to. Ooh, that's but unfortunate. I'm to help. If there's anything that can be done. <laughs> uh, well, as long as you can try to help me. Sounds this like you're... This is cursed. Hmm. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Swift exit, Whatever huh? Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Well, you know... Woeful friend. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Hmm. Never heard of it. Never, huh? But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Healing Church, eh? The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Hmm. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. Down the valley to the Deep east. The Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. Cool. The birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> or so they say, huh? Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but 
and is on tonight. This might be your chance. Well, whatever chance I get, I'm taking it. Mm, Spectre. Yeah. You can see the tombstones of people that actually died throughout their playthrough. <laughs> it's kind of gruesome, but it also, uh, you know, helps. What did we just pick up? Pebbles? Small pebbles found throughout Yarnum. Can be thrown at foes. Quite thrilling. <laughs> that all you got, buddy? They kind of look like little eyes, but, you know. Didn't have much of a description beyond that, so... Let me just kill this guy. Gain his souls and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, oh. And this guy has a shield, and I'm gonna show you how pathetic it is. Boom, boom, boom. Man, you don't just lift it up. <sighs> you dropped it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Eh, I know how to heal. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that's another feature of this game. They will mob you. They will mob the hell out of you if you let them. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, see how pathetic that is? Oh. Oh, right. I don't have any item. That's right. He was looking in his pocket for something that he could have used. But, you know, I don't have anything equipped, so... Yeah. And there's a guy over there that I can try to kill, but not right now. Time for the Scourge. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that guy yet, because knowing my reflexes at this point in time, I'm probably gonna die. So instead, we're gonna go up here. See if there's anything we can grab. All tough cocktails, excellent. Actually, let me go ahead and put some items here. Uh-huh, some pebbles, why not? Hey, you! What's going on here? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Well then. Hey, buddy. That's well, ah, the same thing. Well, that's rude. They don't like foreigners. Must be. Uh, nope, 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 no, 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 no. Do not say anything. You don't want to piss people off. <laughs> will you help me out? Yeah, come on. Hmm? You don't open the door on a night of hunt. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't know about this place. Now. Oh, shut up. Fine. Oh, hello. Ah! And I... Ow! Why does fire hurt? Ooh, it really hurts you. Taste your own medicine, jackass. This guy has a gun, and you learn to fear guns in this game, so... If you see a gun wielder, kill them. And... Aha! <laughs> you couldn't catch me. That was a bloodstone shard. Let's look it up. A solid shard that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called a bloodstone. At the workshop, these bloodstones are embedded into weapons to fortify them. Interesting. So it kind of, it kind of lets you know that blood coagulates, but the way it does is a little strange, and it, if you looked, it kind of had a helix pattern. Like, let me actually look at it. Yeah, see, it kind of has a helix DNA pattern-ish, so... Kind of interesting... ...that it does that. I mean, it looks... It's more like a crystal... It looks more like a crystal etching, but, you know... Oh, hello, guys! Alexa, jeez. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Let's go after him first off. Ah, I think those guns are so slow. Ah! Ow! 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 Okay, running away, running away for now. Fire. Oh, shit. 
How did that miss? Shit. Alright. Uh. 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 Oh, there we go. If you attack with the gun at just the right moment, you can visceral attack. It's basically, it's basically like a really fancy repost. Screw dogs. And they can be knocked back by guns, so. That's very, very handy. Because, like I said, fuck dogs. Whoa. Oh shit. There we go. Okay, stop it, jeez. I get it, you're trying to kill me. Wasting all my blood vials, god. Huh. 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 Alright, and I think I got everybody, so. Let's grab some items. So many bullets, what the hell? What's this? Blood vials? Thank you. Thank you very much, good sir. Alright, what else we got? There's something on the other side of that grate over there, that gate over there, but I'll pick it up in a sec. There was something up here. Cold blood dew. More new items. Droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes. Used to gain blood echoes. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence, indeed gratitude for their victims. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the life-sustaining essence that is blood. Especially after I killed you. Now, go wherever it is you go when you die. It's not the hunter's dream because they're not a hunter, so bye. That's what I imagine they try they're saying. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, buddy. Look. Those guys are really easy over to give a riposte to or a visceral attack. Because he does that. His attacks are so easily telegraphed. And I believe I killed him. There we go. So we just got a torch, some more blood vials, and some molotovs. Let's see the torch. I'll equip it with the hunter pistol. A common torch formed by wrapping a pine resin drenched cloth around the end of a long stick. Pine resin? That creates freaking. That's a lightning ability. Come on, guys. Anyways, hunters choose torches not only because the hunt leads them to the darkest nooks, but also because certain creatures they encounter are possessed of a deathly fear of flame. Yep, they are. I would use it, but not right now. No real need, honestly. Bunch of crows! Easy to kill, but ooh. They will surprise the hell out of you like that. And drag their buddies along when they take flight. That's hilarious. Oil urn. You can only imagine what that does. <clears throat> when this urn hits its mark, the target is drenched in oil and made extremely flammable. Fire is commonplace on the hunt, and oil urns accentuate its effect. Sometimes, when hunters turn burn beasts, they appear intoxicated by the euphoria of purification. That's not the euphoria of purification, that's just, I'm going to burn the shit out of you. Okay, whatever that said. Sorry. Hidden path awaits ahead, beware of hound. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hello, can someone help me here? You're from around here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. You could help me, you know. Poor, poor thing. <laughs> you, 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 you could help me, you know. I just cleared the beasts for you, Good people. Dead dog. Another. Uh, another dead dog. Jeez. That one's gonna try and break out its cage. Ow! Ow! Faster. You die as well. And you and you. I want you guys breaking out and trying to maul me to death. Let's see what is up here. Hmm, wonder what's up the stairs. More cl cold blood dew, I believe we already looked at that, so no worries. I'm not gonna read every single item that we pick up, as long as you know I've read it once. Read it once, and then we can discuss it later. If I find anything of super importance. 
Boom, boom, boom. And then... the steel guy. Pungent blood cocktail. Hmm. Mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool and sadly short supply. In Yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol, and the former is far more, is the more intoxicating. So apparently, they are such bloodhounds, or blood-starved hounds, that they find blood more intoxicating than alcohol. If that doesn't terrify you, I don't know what does, because these guys are essentially vampires. Let's see. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. So it looks like the healing church completely burned down uh, old Yarnum. I guess this is new Yarnum or current Yarnum. I don't know how you would word that, honestly, but they burned it down and then they blocked the pathway forward to the new place. Oh, hello. I was trying to explain something, people. God. Okay, cool. Alright, more cold blood do. I'm gonna use that in a second. Let's see what I got. And I just made myself a giant shortcut. And I'm. Mm, I'll go back. I'll come back. Use the torch, light my way. It's not that dark, but, <clears throat> you know, for effect. And there's this guy who wants a piece of me. And he had it! And he lost it. Blood vials, another bloodstone shard, which I already looked at. Open this gate, and we have yet another shortcut. Yay, shortcuts! Now let's return to the hunter's dream for now. Oh my goodness, this is actually going pretty well. What time is it? Eh, I got time. It's only been like, what, 30 minutes? And you are still abandoned. And the doors are open. Awesome. Sup, old man. What you got? Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. I might be. Welcome to the hunter's dream. Hmm. This will be your home. For now. Where's my bed? Do I get to sleep? Um Gammon. Oh, okay. Did you have to really remember your name? Jeez. Fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. I'm trying. Just go out and kill it. His mouth isn't even moving. It's for your own good. Hmm. You know, it's just what hunters do. Is it really? Get used to it. Uh, tell me stuff. This was once a safe haven for hunters. Was it now? A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. Uh, yeah. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but... Oh, that's unfortunate. You're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Whoa, hold on, even the doll, ugh. That was not creepy. Okay, so we can repair our weapons, finally. So, let's do that. We can fortify our weapons. We don't have enough yet, but once we get enough, you know, we'll be able to. The workshop tool required for this task is missing. Cool. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. That's spooky, but yeah, I guess we gotta stop the scourge. I don't know what's back here. <clears throat> What is this? Ooh, worn messenger top hat and messenger headband. Uh, let's see, we already looked at these, so... Okay. A worn, rumpled top hat that messengers are oddly fond of. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? Accessory adorned by naive messengers imitating the bandages of scourge victims, unaware of their meaning. Hmm. And it's... They're talking about these guys. So if you want to give them the ac accessories, you can. And watch. They wear them! Oh, they're so cute and creepy. Creepy, creepily cute. Guess that's how you would say it? Maybe? 
woeful superior being. Whatever that means. Alright, let's actually use some items here. Uh, use multiple, three, I get this. 1050, wow, that's more than I thought. So, with that amount of blood, we are going to purchase stuff. Oh, here we go. Let's actually look at the items. Special blood used in ministration restores HP. Once a patient has had their blood ministered, a unique but common treatment in Yarnum, successive infusions recall the first and are all the more invigorating for it. No surprise that most Yarnumites are heavy users of blood. Yeah, because they're vampires, apparently. Special bullets used in the hunters in hunter firearms. Ordinary bullets have no effect on beasts, and so quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood must be employed. The strength depends greatly upon the wielder's blood tinge, which is a status effect that we won't be able to use until a little bit later. Alright, Yarnum Cap. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnumites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense but not nearly enough to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. And I believe they all say the same thing, so let's go ahead and buy them. It's gonna be our... It's gonna be better defense than what we currently have, so... Boom. Alright. We still have some blood to spit. We still have some stuff to spare, so... Let's equip. There we go. Looking spiffy. And I believe that's all the time we have for this portion of the video, so once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and when we come back on Let's Play Bloodborne, we continue to find out the mystery of Yarnum, can uh, explore its depths a little more, and figure out what the heck is going on with all these people. So until next time guys, this has been Gamer First Class. Take care, and have a good hunt.